the best overall defensive build in NBA 2K24, and it's not even close. Shout out to my guy. Well, he is my guy, but his name is also my guy for sending me all these clips and for helping me create my 6'8". I don't even know what to call it besides a demon. It's a it's a lockdown center hybrid build. Look at the clips my guy is getting. Look it. Literally three on two, and look at how he plays it. Boom, step back in the lane. I'm going to leave the link to his Twitch in the description, man. Definitely go show him some love. One of the best defensive players on this game. I mean, look at the lanes my guy is getting. I mean... Part of it is his stick skill, but part of it is also this build is an absolute beast. You can guard the ball. You can guard centers. You can play lanes. You can protect the paint, guard the perimeter. I'm talking about an all-around demon defensive build that could still shoot the three and dunk the ball, of course. But this is a lock center hybrid monster build. Look at the man is all over the court. If you're one of those players that just likes to be an absolute menace on the defensive end guard the perimeter guard paint you're mr do it all on defense this is the perfect build for you i'm talking gold clamps gold challenger gold anchor gold rebound chaser gold post move lockdown and so much more this 6-8 lock center demon build is so good that it was banned in the upcoming comp stage tournament yes they banned it they said uh-uh, you cannot run this build in this tournament. You have to pick something else. That's how good this 6-8 build is. Let's get into this build video. Shout out to my guy again for hooking me up with these clips. Like I said, go check him out on Twitch. This is the best defensive build on NBA 2K24. Let's get into it. But first, anything you want to know about NBA 2K24 is available on NBA2KLab.com. They have a bunch of free content, including badge requirements, animation requirements, and everything you would want to know to craft the perfect build for you. But on the premium side, they of course have that jump shot data to help you get the perfect, best statistical jump shot for your specific build. If you want access to that premium content, use code Joe to get a big discount. But even if you just want to check out the free stuff they have to offer, it is highly valuable and I highly recommend it. Listen, y'all, I saw the comments. No face cam for this build video. Y'all been telling me I'm in the way. I can't see the physicals. I can't see the badges. No face cam. Got it? Drop a like on the video for me listening to your feedback. All right, check it out. Six foot eight, max wingspan. Check this out. Be careful on this weight because one pound can make a difference whether you're able to get gold clamps or not. All right, as you can see, right? You're, I'm tinkering it. It's very specific. But we're going to go 234 to be able to unlock gold clamps on this build, all right? So let's start off with what the bread and butter of this build is. The defense. It is the best, I'm telling you, the best overall defensive build if you want to guard perimeter and paint at the same time, all right? Perimeter defense maxed out to 93. Your steal, 95. If you like right stick ripper on Hall of Fame, go 96. But I think it's worth it to go 95 to get the gold glove and the Hall of Fame interceptor and to save those attribute points. Because look what we could do if we go 95. You know, it's, it's very expensive once you go over 95. So we're going to keep a 95 on my version of the build. Obviously, my guy runs something different and you are going to create your own version of the build. But this is my version, okay? Block is going to go 92 because we're going to get that gold anchor that I already talked about, okay? Now, for that gold anchor we only need 77 perimeter but we're gonna crank that up in a little bit i'm gonna explain why because i'm making this build for not only the threes but the twos okay this would be my, my my hybrid lock center build for the twos and on the twos you know we got to deal with those post scores now for defensive rebound we're going 93 because 92 for the gold rebound chaser but 93 to get the hoff box out beast right 90 strength 93 d board that gives us the hoff box out beast also, that 90 strength, we're going to talk about it in a minute, but that immovable enforcer, I cannot stress enough how good of a badge that is. You're definitely going to want that. Now, max excel, max speed. The physicals are off the chart already, and unfortunately, we can't go 99 stamina, but we could go 98, but there's really no reason to go 98. We'll go 95, because that's going to give us gold workhorse and gold 94 feet. So 95 stamina, more than enough, and we get those two badges on gold. That's a beautiful thing. Vertical, very important for multiple badges. We're going 80, and it's important for rebounding because it lets you jump higher. I promise you, vertical matters in your rebounding. 
and we're going 80. We're also going 83 on the O board. I see a lot of people making these builds and they go low O board. I don't understand. Give your team second opportunities, man. 83 on the O board with gold rebound chaser. We're going to be snagging. So in terms of this type of build, I want to be able to shoot the ball. So we're going 78 three ball again. A lot of shooting badges on silver. That's a beautiful thing. I'm going to show you a quick version of the, the if you want to go pure inside on this build and you'll have soup that's finishing. Like the finishing will be off the charts. But for this version, we're going 75 driving dunk. That's going to give you a couple nice dunk packages, including athletic one handers. And that's basically the go to dunk package and the go to dunk rating that most tryhards and sweats are going with right now is 75. Now, if you're playing fives, you're going to want to go higher on the pass accuracy. But for threes and twos, 75 is just fine. You know, silver break starter. For twos and threes, that'll get the job done. But let's come back to this interior defense. You only get post move lockdown on bronze with 77 interior, despite having gold anchor. Now, if you're going to play twos, you're going to deal with post scores. So look at what we can do. We crank this thing up to 88 interior, and you get gold post move lockdown. To go with gold anchor, gold pogo stick, 90 strength, gold immovable enforcer. I know you're undersized, and it's going to be a challenge for anyone to deal with a 7 3 post score. But with those badges at 6'8", with the defensive stats that you have, you're going to give yourself a very good chance. Now, obviously, we're not creating the build to specifically deal with post scores, but if you're going to play on the twos, you got to at least have it be a viable option. You're going to face some post scores. So you got to be ready for that. But at the same time, we're not going to sacrifice the rest of our build, right? We want to be able to defend pick and roll. We want to be able to defend quick guards. You want to be able to defend lane steals on the twos and the threes so that's why we created this build because it's the perfect mesh of a center and a lock it is i can't explain how good of a build this is look at the badge spread that you're looking at the hoff interceptor goes crazy saw some of those lane steals that my guy was getting and, and that was before he even unlocked hoff interceptor so imagine when he gets hoff he's out there snagging stuff like randy moss bro like prime randy moss just go up and get it and look at the rest of the badges like i said Hoff box out beast, gold rebound chaser, gold pogo stick. Like you have gold anchor, gold immovable enforcer. That immovable enforcer, I can't stress enough how important that badge is for not only paint defense, but perimeter. And then speaking of perimeter, you got gold clamps, you got gold glove. The build overall is just elite. You can spot up and let your teammate ISO. You can run pick and roll. You have gold brick wall. It is an absolutely just perfectly crafted specimen of defense. It is an absolute beast. But I know some of you, you'd prefer a pure inside version. So if you just take down the shoot, keep everything the same and take down the shooting, look at what you can do. You can have cracked finishing. I'm talking 90 driving dunk and 80 standing dunk just from removing that shooting so for those of you that like pure insides look at that 90 standing i mean 90 driving 80 standing if you want to be a pure pick and roll player and, and have a little bit better finishing in and around the you know painted area but for me i love the popper version of this build because like i said your teammate can iso you could set screens and run pick and roll pick and pop it is just such a beautiful blend of a lock and a center uh, you know, you're still going to be able to dunk the ball with that 75. Like I said, you unlock really, really good packages with that 75 driving dunk. And then it's just the 78 three. You're going to be so chicken with those silver badges and the way shooting is on this game right now. You're going to be sparking. It is the overall best defensive build all around defensive build in NBA 2K24. Hands down. This is the build that I'm going to make to, to like if I want to run center on the threes or if I want to play the quote unquote center spot on the twos, this is the build I'm going to be rocking. It's an absolute demigod defensive build. But if you're looking for the best settings on NBA 2K24 to help you play defense and of course help you time your shots and play offense, that video on the screen right there is the best settings. They will help you out. They will help you win more games instantly. Go check it out. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.